Hello, how are you? Fine, teacher. Good, good evening. Good evening. How is everything? Good evening. It's very good. What's new? Um, no, no, no bad. Nothing new? Nothing new, teacher. Oh. The new is I, I have a cough. <laughs> you, oh, you're sick. <laughs> yeah. It's oh. the new. Okay. But you're not, it's not that bad. Yes, yeah, it's 50 50. Oh, okay. Class, give me one second, please. Okay. I will be back. Okay, thank you. So how was your weekend? Fine, teacher. Anything special? Anything no. new? No, teacher, only. <laughs> Nothing new? No, teacher. Oh, okay. Let me see here. What about you, Katia? How was your weekend? It was okay, teacher. I was staying in my house. And it, is it raining a lot in Metapan? I live. One uh, mother told me that it was raining on Saturday, Monday, here in Perry. <clears throat> but I was here in Santa Ana. Okay. Milton, how are you? Fine, teacher. Good evening. How was your weekend? Not bad. Uh, and I I was in my in my house with my family. Okay. Because because the the rain is one sometime uh, early in the afternoon and night uh, a little but uh, is a uh, moha. How do you say this? I get you what? Okay, I get you one. It gets you wet. Rain gets you wet. What? Rain gets you wet. What? What? Wet. Mojado. Wet. 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 Okay. Sometimes it's dangerous because the, the acid rain is bad for the health. Healthy. For the health, yes, it's true. Yes. But today, well, by by my house, it hasn't rained today. Uh, yes, in my house is in is in rain too. Okay. Okay, let me see. Okay, so let's start. 
Welcome to class, everybody. I hope you had a good weekend. I hope you had fun. Hi, good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. And you? I'm good. Good, thank you. How was your weekend? It was, it was chilling because I, I spent time with my family and I, and I watched TV and I took a nap. Oh, that's good. Perfect weekend. That's the perfect weekend. Thank you. Okay, so let me open the platform. So we were talking about wishes and regrets, remember? Yes. yes like yes. I, wish, I wish I had, I wish I regret. Okay. So let me share my screen with you. Do, 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 do. do you see my screen? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay, good. So let's do the knowledge check. It says, Rewrite these statements using the words in parentheses. Remember to use capital letters and periods. I can't find time to exercise. What do you think is the... Um... Okay, let me see. I can't find time to exercise. I wish... Cool. Mm -hmm. I wish I could find the time to exercise. I could find the time to exercise. My grades weren't very good last semester. If only <clears throat> if only my grades had been better last semester. Or I have been good is, is correct too. Number three, I don't know how to dance very well. I wish. I knew how to dance well. Thank you. Yes, I wish I knew how to dance well. I wish I knew. I knew. I didn't apply for that interesting job at work. I wish. I had applied for that interesting job at work. I wish I had applied for that interesting job at work. Good. I'm feeling very stressed these days. I wish. I wish I weren't feeling so stressed these days. I never learned how to swim when I was a child. If only I had learned to swim when I was a child. How to sing. I gave away all my all my old CDs and DVDs last summer. If only I, I hadn't given, I I given hadn't away given. all my good CDs and DVDs last summer. Yes, good. I watched too much TV and didn't read enough when I was a kid. If only. I have Yeah, this is long. It says, if only I hadn't watched so much television and had read more when I was a kid. Let's do this listening exercise. Important values. Can you hear? A. Listen to these on the street interviews. Can you hear? What values do yes. these people? Yes, teacher. Okay. Thank yes, you. teacher. 
three important values. A. Listen to these on-the-street interviews. What values do these people think are important? Number the values in the order you hear them. We're back on the street for the Ask the People portion of our show. Today, our question is, what values do you think are the most important and why? Now, I just have to find some people who are willing to talk to me. Excuse me, sir. Yes? My name is Andy Simmons. I'm a reporter for WQZ, and we're on the air. Do you have a moment to talk with us? Uh, well, uh, I'm on my way to work. This should just take a moment. Well, okay, but make it fast. Okay. We're asking people what they think are the most important values in today's society and why. Hmm, that's a tough one. I guess I think it's important to listen to your parents. Kids these days. My kids never listen to anything I say. Aha, uh -huh. so you think it's important to respect your parents? That's right. Sorry, I've got to go. Bye. Goodbye. Boy, was he in a hurry. Miss, excuse me. Miss? Hello? Hmm? Yes? Do you have a second? I'm Andy Simmons from WQZ. I'm doing a radio show. Uh-huh. Well, um, we're asking people on the street what values they think are important and why. I'm sorry, I don't really have much time. It'll just take a second. Okay, then. I don't know. I guess that honesty is important. You know what they say. Honesty is the best policy. Okay, that's interesting. Well... I mean, you're just going to get in trouble if you're not honest. At least, that's been my experience. I see. Listen, I have to go. Thanks. Let's see if I can find one more person. Oops! Ouch! I'm sorry. I didn't see you standing there behind me. Are you okay? No! You stepped on my toes. What are you doing standing here anyway? Well, actually, I'm interviewing people. I'm Andy Simmons from WQZ. What's that? I'm Andy Simmons from the radio station WQZ. I'm doing on-the-street interviews. Oh, okay. We're asking people about values. What values do you think are most important in today's society? Privacy. I'd have to say privacy. I think people need to respect each other's privacy. Like right now. You really need to leave me alone. Huh. Uh, oh, well, I'm sorry. Uh, folks, that's all the time we have today for our show. Today's question was, what values do you think are important in today's society and why? After this experience, I'd have to say one thing we all need to work on is being kinder, especially to news reporters. This sure is a tough job. This is Andy Simmons of WQZ Radio signing off until next time. Okay, what values do these people think are important? Number the values in order you hear them. Honesty? Two. Two. Number two. Number two. Two. Number three. Hey, how come this is not letting me? <laughs> oh, wait. Honesty is two. 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 Privacy? Two. two. Privacy is three and respect one. is one. 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 Reading exercise. It says New York honors a hero. So we have one, two, three, four, five paragraphs. So let's do this. Let me pick randomly. What happened to Katya? She was on. Okay. Sidham, can you okay. please read the first paragraph? And when you finish, you choose the next person, please. Okay. I started a typical day for Wesley on three. 
a 50 years old construction worker in New York City. It was about 12.45 p.m. and he has waiting on a he subway. He, he was waiting on a subway platform to take his doctors home before they went to work. He is student not ties. He's suddenly, suddenly, not tired, not tired. It's suddenly, uh -huh. he's suddenly noticed. Noticed a man nearby, have nearby, nearby, and convulsion and collapsed. Mister Austri and two women went to help the stranger. The man, Cameron, holy Peter. Manager to get to his feet, but then stumbled on the edge of the platform and fell onto the subway tracks. Mr. Tree looked up and said the line of the subway train approaching through the tunnel. tunnel. Through the tunnel. Okay, so, does, does everyone understand this paragraph? Yes. Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. Mm -hmm. Suddenly, he suddenly noticed a man nearby. What is nearby? Nervioso. Cerca de. Cerca de. Cerca de. Nearby. Do you have a Don Pollo nearby? Your house? Yes. 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 <laughs> Everybody has a Don Pollo <laughs> nearby. Yeah. Don Everybody. Pollo and Super Selectors nearby. Yes. Yes. Okay, good. So let me see. Stop. Stumble. Stumble. Good. Sometimes you're walking and you stumble and you fall. Tropezar. Like a marearse. Tropezar, marearse. Tropezar. Mm -hmm. Yes, that is a stumble. Teacher, oh. what about managed to get to his feet? I managed. Managed to get to his feet. Like managed to Logré. No, logré. I managed. Manage comes, uh, I managed to get on my feet. Logré quedarme en pie. Logré agarrarme. Logré, you know, I managed to. It can also meant as manage to. There was a lot of traffic today, a lot of traffic, and I still managed to get to my work on time. Okay. Okay. Good question, Sergio. That's a, that's a phrasal verb. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. Manage to is that you did it with difficulties, but you did it. Okay, thank you. Sidham, can you choose the next person to read the second paragraph? Okay. Uh, Miguel. Milton. Milton. Oh, Miguel. Oh. Miguel. <laughs> okay. What will you do? Stand Miguel, Miguel Angel. Okay. What will you do? Stand or riff it and watch helplessly. 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 Hopelessly. Okay. Most people go jump in to help, but only if they were not trying and sick. Mr. Autry acted quickly. He leaped down on the track. He realized that he didn't have time to get Mr. Holopeter and himself back up on the platform before the train arrived. So he lay on top of the band and pressed down as hard as be cold. I threw the driver, tried to stop the train before it reached them. The cold not. Five cars passed over them Five. before the train finally stopped. The cars had passed only inch from his head. His first board were to us 
on lockers to rail his daughters. He was okay. To rail or to tell? To tell, okay. Okay, so what happened in this story? What happened in this paragraph, Miguel? What did Mr. Autry do? Hello, your microphone. Sorry, sorry. Is Mr. Uh, this says Mr. Aubrey after quickly is tranquilo. Uh, tranquilo. No quickly. What is quickly? Fast, quick. Fast. Oh, okay. Mr. Holoper. Voy a regresar la plataforma. El tren arribó. You know what? I'm sorry. I have to tell you. Today I saw a very stupid woman. I was in Metro Centro in the in the parking, and I heard a woman scream, "My son! My son! My son!" This woman went to Anda, and she left her son with Down syndrome in the car. In the parking. In the car. She went to Anda, and the son opened the door, and he left. So for him. <laughs> And, and the woman was screaming, oh, my son, where's my son, where's my son? Well, they found the son. He was okay. But in my, in, in my opinion, that woman was very stupid. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Yes. Yes. That's not correct. One, don't go with your son. Or two, take your son to Wanda with you. Mm -hmm. Yes. But don't leave your son in the car. Oh, I was so angry. I wanted to take pictures of that woman. But, but it this, will be a very dangerous situation for yes. both. Imagine, and, and this was in Metro Sur. Imagine if her son crosses the street. Yes. Oh, man. Or take a bus on the bus station and yes, go he, over place. Or he crosses and a car stops and then the yes. car behind, he can cause an accident. It's yes. terrible. Yeah. And, and was a little cute? He was maybe, I, you know, he had Down syndrome, but I calculated maybe 10 or 11 years old. Yes. Or maybe a little more, maybe less, I don't mm -hmm. know. Okay, so do you understand every vocabulary, every word in the second sentence uh, paragraph? What does helplessly? Helplessly. Yes. That's when you try to help someone, but you can't. You can't. Okay. You just... Like it... an impotente? Exactly. Okay. Teacher, what Teacher. about let down? He leapt down. Yeah. Leap is another leap is another word is another form of saying jump. Leap down. But leap is like leap is un charco. You know sometimes you see water, you leap. Leap. Well, you know you're walking leap. in the street and you see water, you oh, oh 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 and you look and you calculate. And you take a, a small leap. Okay. It's like como saltar. Un salto. Uh -huh. Okay. But it's a very small one. Yes. Ah, like como evadir el charco. Yeah, he, you leap. Uh -huh. Okay. What is onlookers? Onlookers. Onlookers. People that were only looking. Mm. Onlookers, like in El Salvador, tenemos ese mal heavy. 
Sometimes there's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of traffic and you're, oh my God. And when you get close to the, to the traffic, you realize that it's an accident. And the traffic was not the accident. The traffic was the stupid people, <laughs> metidos, <laughs> that they go slow to look Mirones. at what happened. Yeah, mirones. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. And then you pass and you say, really? This was the 45 minute traffic? There was no traffic. It's just people looking. So onlookers. So imagine the first reaction of this man. He told the onlookers, tell my wife I am okay. New Yorkers. Okay, I'm sorry. Oops. Uh, Miguel, can you choose the next person, please, to read the... Okay. Uh, Irena. Yes. Continue, okay. please. Okay. Let me see. New York loves. I can see it, teacher, because I think it's my. I don't want. My uh huh. Oh, I don't know. It's the last two sentence. Yes, but I can see it because I think it's my screen, teacher. Let me check. Okay. Yeah. Are you on a cell phone? No, I am in oh. the computer, but I can see it. Because um, I have, okay, now just. Okay. New York loves a hero and there's, and there was no question that my outreach action have been just, just that, heroic. He became an overnight sensation. People couldn't get enough of the story. The media named him the Subway Superman. New York City Mayor Michael Blomberg gave him the bronze medallion, the city's highest honor. In the past, this honor has gone to such people as General Douglas MacArthur, Martin Luther King Jr., and Muhammad Ali. He was also asked to appear on several high-profile television talk shows. Very good. Thank you. I mean, yeah, it was correct. He was a hero. What he did was very heroic. Okay, yeah. and Irena, can you choose the next person, please? And the next person will finish. Can you choose somebody, Irena? I'm sorry, teacher. Sara, please. All right, Sarita. Okay. Um, Hill Selfless Beverly was also rewarded with money and gifts. Among other things, Among. Mr. Autry received uh, one million from Donald's. Donald Excuse Trump? me, be careful with numbers. Look at what he says. I'm sorry. Thank 10,000. Wow, yeah, from big difference. Donald, <laughs> for, uh, from Donald Trump, uh, five, five million. Really? Five million? Wow. 5,000 gift and gift card from the Gap Clothing Store and your Jeep. Si le dan a los 5 millones, compra Gap. <laughs> and your Jeep. Uh, ticket in back, backstage, pass to the next Beyonce concert, and a free one year public, public oh, transit yeah. pass. A uh, Disney um, Razor. Ambassador. Ten. Sorry. Ambassador. Ambassador, thank, uh, thank the, thank of him with a one week all expensive pay. Expensive pay trip to Disney World and ticket to see the Lion, the Lion King on Broadway. And uh, how did all, all three, a Navy veteran, read 
react to all this honorably? He said, I don't feel like I did um, I did anything spectacular. I just saw someone who needed help. I did what, what I felt was right. Good. Excellent. Very good. All right. Thank you. Questions here. With any words that you maybe don't understand? Yes, teacher. Go ahead. What questions? I understand. Oh. Yes. Yes, uh, he has a lot of money clarify. For, uh, for his trip. No, but what part don't you understand? What what word? No. I understand. Okay. Okay, good. Selfless bravery was uh, also rewarded with money and gifts. Okay, so number one, it says Audrey, Audrey hadn't noticed Holla Peter before he fell into the tracks. Is this true or false? False. It's false. 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 He did oh. notice. Yes. There was oh. very little space between Autry and the bottom of the train. It's true. It's true. Autry jumped onto the tracks because he wanted to be a hero. Oh. False. Oh. False. False. Did you see the soldiers from the army that they yeah. saved a, a dog? Yeah. I think it was last week that they were saving a dog because this dog in the water. Who knows? Mm, no, no, yeah. Yes, I, I saw the notice. You saw the video? Yeah. Did you yes, see I... did you see people criticizing the, the soldiers? Uh, no. no, I didn't read Said, the, the com the comments. Oh my god, is it uh like they were saying, where were you with the family that <laughs> That was, you know, I don't know. People are never happy. <laughs> they, yes. they never happy. <laughs> it's like, oh, my God. <laughs> because I think it was good to save the, the poor dog. Of course. Yes. I mean, I think they were in the right place at the right time. You know, oh, my yes. God, the dog helped. But no, people started saying, what about the family? Oh, yeah. So a dog is more. Obviously, I think, obviously, if if there were people the soldiers say the people too. Yes, but you know, people like to start controversy. Yes. Hmm. Okay, now we have lesson um, for, for, for now. By the end of this section, participants will be able to practice using press perfect and future perfect continuous. Ooh. What is future perfect, do you know? Yes, teacher. Okay, good. Let's 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 watch the video and then we'll see if maybe you do know, maybe you don't know, maybe you don't remember. Let's watch the video and see what happens. Hello, in this class we will show you when and how to use future perfect and future perfect continuous. Future perfect and future perfect continuous. Use the future perfect to emphasize that something will be completed or achieved by a particular point in the future. By this time next year, your self-confidence will have increased. Use the future perfect continuous to emphasize the duration of an activity in progress at a particular point in the future. By the end of next year, you will have been studying your chosen language for 12 months. Future perfect and future perfect continuous. They express the completion or duration of an action or event at some point in the future. They can be used to talk about an event or action that started in the past but will not be completed until the future. 
the future perfect. The future perfect is made up of the simple future of will plus the present perfect. For example, by this time next year, I will have graduated from school. The future perfect continuous is made up of the simple future of will plus the present perfect continuous. Example, by this time next year, I will have been studying English for six months. Common time phrases for these sentences. After, by then, before, when, by the time, by tomorrow, by eight o'clock, this year, this month, this week, next year, next month, next week, for five hours, for 10 years, for a few days, for six months, since morning, since Friday, since 1996. Use these time expressions to write sentences using either future perfect or future perfect continuous. Number one, before this class ends. Number two, in two years time. Number three, by the end of the week. First time. Number three. Let's practice this. Who's somebody here studies in the university? A long time ago. <laughs> yeah, no, but currently, does anybody study in the university? Yeah. No. No, teacher. I no. think no. Yes. Yes. Who? Who said yes? No. Or no. Yes or no? It's it's a very simple question. Does somebody study in the university currently? Mm -hmm. No. Okay, nobody. Mm -hmm. yes. Miguel, you study in the university? In this moment, no. Okay, listen, come on, class, class, no, 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 no. This is a very simple question, a simple present. Does somebody study in the university? Come on, class. Porque me dicen yes, y cuando les pregunto no, in this moment, no. Do you understand my question? Yes, Come on, sure. class. Thank you. Okay, so nobody. <laughs> I, I didn't Thank you. So, yeah, okay, good. I'm not asking if you studied or you're going to study, you know, just simple question. In this moment, do you study in the university? Mm -hmm. No. You said currently, right? No. Yes, currently. Okay. Okay. Good. okay. All right, good. Yeah, be careful because if you say yes, expect the second question. Oh, what do you study? I say, no, I don't study. Okay. Oh, let me see, let me see, let me see. Imagine that you are studying in the university. Okay, Maida Sensi, are you there? Yes, I'm here. So imagine you are studying in the university and you are studying medicine. Yes? Yes. You are in your seventh year. ¿Cuántos años son siete, no? Eight, eight, maybe eight, eight. Years. Okay, but you are in your seventh year, imagine, and you are clean. Can you tell me by this time in two years? So in two years time, what's going to happen? Maida? In two years, okay, in two years, I will have finished my career. Excellent, yes. So what Maida is saying there, because she's saying that she's in the seventh year, she is clean. So in this time, by in this time, in two years, she will have finished her career. 
Very good. Thank you, Mike. That was a very good example. Sara, by this time in five years, where do you see yourself in TELUS? Mm, probably I will I will be um I will have another position, for example, TL or trainer. Okay, good. So I will have been promoted. I will have been promoted. Promoted. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. good. Now that is present perfect to express future. It's not very common. So there's not many examples that you can give. It's not very common, but yes, we use it sometimes. In Spanish too, it's not very common, but sometimes we use it. Okay, do you have questions in present perfect uh, to express future? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Okay, uh, somebody said yes. What is your question? Who said yes? Okay, so re remember, it's not very common. It's more common to say, Maida, it's more common to say, Maida, in two years, I will be, I will finish my, my university. That's the more common, simple future. In two years, I will finish. In two years, I will graduate. But sometimes, yes, we use present perfect. By this time, in two years, I will have graduated. Okay. Now, next we have present perfect continuous. The only difference is that now you're saying the verb with ing. So let's go back to Midas example. By this time in two years, I will be graduating. I will be graduating with ing. Okay. I will be graduating. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, I will see, I will be graduating, right? Mm -hmm. Katia. Katia, are you there? Yes, yes. Where um, where is your next trip? Where, where your plan for your next trip? Where is it? Uh, maybe United States. When? Mm, other year. Next year. Next year. Yeah. What month? You can invent. Um, April. Okay. Oh, let's say let's say December. December this year. Okay, December next year. Okay, December next year or this year. Um, what what state? Let's say New York. Mm, New York. Okay, so Katia. Katia will have been celebrating Christmas in three months by this time. By this time in three months, th how many months? What month are we? September still, correct? Hmm. Yeah. Okay, so Katia in three months, she will have been celebrating Christmas under the cold weather of New York. In three months. Okay. okay, class. Entonces, si les cuesta un poco, si no lo entienden o si no tienen muchos ejemplos, don't worry because it's not a very common tense. It's more common to use simple future. Okay, but yes, you can use press, uh, present perfect to express future. And usually we say it like this, like Maida's example. In two years, I will have graduated. Okay. Los pobres presos, mareros. Mom, in 20 years, I will have, I will have completed my, 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 my what? 
en 20 años ya habré cumplido mi, mi condena, mamá. Y salen y vuelven a entrar. Yes. Imagine. Oh, only, only, only if survivor. If I survive, yes. A, imagine the concert is at eight, but you can't be there at eight. You can be there at 11. So imagine I tell you, hey, come, voy a, uh, I'm going to sing in a concert. Voy a, voy a tocar in a bar. Come, what time? At eight. No, I can only be there at 11. No. ¿Qué diría? A esa hora yo. Go. I will be sleeping. I will, I will be, go to the bed. Okay, but remember the concert is mine. It's my concert. Okay. And I start at eight, but you you will be there at 11. So what do you think is most likely my answer? At 11, I, at 11, we'll I finish the concert. Yeah, by that time, probably I will have finished. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. And you tell, and I said, oh, so now let's make it more realistic. Come on, come to my concert. No, because, uh, yes, I will go, but I will be there at 11. I said, at 11? <sighs> You're crazy, man. By that time, I will have finished. <laughs> All right. All right. So it says knowledge check here. Read the following sentences. These sentences about June's year abroad all have mistakes. What is abroad? El extranjero. O fuera, fuera en el extranjero. Do you guys want me to tell you a little secret? Yes, please. If you have braces, brackets, mm -hmm. you need to double check your doctor because that is speciality, the brackets, there is that, that is, there is no speciality in El Salvador. You need to have studied abroad. Yeah, maybe Mexico, maybe United States. Well, the closest I think is Mexico, Brazil, That's United in States. Extranjero. Uh huh. Okay. But I said orthodoncista, brackets, <clears throat> because that does not exist in El Salvador. So that's my little secret. Be careful because there are many doctors, like general doctors, that they do that. They put I brackets. didn't know that, teacher. Yeah, I didn't know that, but my wife, remember I told you my wife, my wife is a dentist. I'm really, <laughs> I, said, yes. I, did, I didn't know that. <laughs> mm. Yeah, because if you notice right now, brackets, they are a trend. Everybody has brackets. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. In fact, patients go to the dentist. I, I need brackets. Maybe <laughs> you, you don't need it, but you just want brackets. Mm -hmm. So many people, many dentist it's not correct it's unethical they're putting brackets and they're not orthodontists so here's a little secret if you ever go to a dentist to ask him ah, so where did you study oh in the universidad in salvador ah. he is not an orthodontist <laughs> my goodness and yeah. then the people will uh will take jose Carius? No, no, but you see, what happens is that is maybe some some dentists they do it good. They're very good because maybe they practiced with an orthodontist, or okay. you know, and maybe they they do it good. But like my wife says, I mean, you study three or four more years for a reason. Mm -hmm. You need to know the pressure of each of each. Yes, and you know so. 
that's the problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's a little secret. So next time you go, if you have that problem, in con cualquier cosa, endodoncia, man, it's yes. That, that's make sure he's an endodoncista. Make sure he's an orthodoncia. Make sure he's this. Yeah, I so. had a bad experience about that. Yeah, um, orthodoncia is very, very dangerous. Yes. If if yes. you don't have a, a special specialist, it can be very dangerous. Yes. Like me, saben cómo se dice muelas las molares las in english you say wisdom teeth molas del juicio uh -huh. wisdom yeah yeah i am 44 years old and i have my four i have them and my wife says i can't take him out because you need a specialist i need a a surgeon because i don't know my my I, I, yeah. the position they are in they're terrible but there are some doctors that they say, yeah, I'll do it. No mm -hmm. problem. And, yes. And it's a problem. <laughs> yes. It, it's very corrupted. So. Or, oh, but abroad. <laughs> so remember, if, if your doctor tells you he is an orthodontist, he has had to have studied abroad. Oh, he's a pasado perfecto. Yes. Past perfect. Past blah. Past <laughs> perfect. <laughs> so, these sentences about June's year abroad all have mistakes. Correct the mistakes using the future with will, the future perfect, or future perfect continuous. Remember to use capitals and periods. He'll be going out after a few weeks because he will have been more familiar with the city. Answer. He'll be going out more after a few weeks because he'll be more familiar with the city. Okay, so by this time tomorrow, June will have traveled. Uh, June will have traveled for 24 hours. What is the correct? I think. By tomorrow. Um, by this time tomorrow. John will have traveled for 24 hours. We'll have been traveling. We'll have been traveling. Yeah. So in this case, maybe June is, I don't know, maybe she's going from Mexico to Argentina by bus. Mm. Uh -huh. And that's a long trip. Well, no, no, I must have From here to Costa Rica in bus is three days, no? Yes. Okay. Yes, let me see. Yes, because for today you sleep at Nicaragua and you maybe two teacher. To okay. Survive. Okay. But imagine we imagine we go in that trip. We say, man, by this time tomorrow. Or oh, come on, sir. By this time tomorrow, we will have been traveling 24 hours. We'll be, we'll be having, we'll, we will have been traveling 48 days, uh, 48 hours, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Yes. Okay, number two, it says, by the end of next week, they will have been stalling his iPhone. They can call him. What is the correct way here? By the end of the next week, they will have been stalling his iPhone. Then we can call him. So by the end of next week, they will have installed his phone. Then we can call him. By the end of the next week, they will have installed his phone then we can call, call him. Yes. He'll be going out more after a few weeks because he will have been more familiar with the city. That's an example. He'll be going out, let me see. He'll be going, oh yeah, that was an example, thank you. 
He'll be going out more after a few weeks because he will be more familiar with the city. After studying English for a few months, he will have felt more confident about speaking to people. After studying English for a few months, he will feel more confident about speaking to more people, correct? And the last one, it says, by this time next year, he probably will not have been writing us many letters, but he will have continued to write him to him anyway. I'm really sorry about this, but these examples are not. By this time next year, he probably will not have written us many letters, but we will have con we will continue to write to him anyway. Okay, let's do one thing. Let me see. Sergio. Yes, teacher. In El Salvador, a president, how long is the term? How long? Uh, I think it's for five years. Five years. And the actual president, how long has he been president? Uh, he has been president uh, for uh, almost three years, I, 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 I guess. Okay, so can you give me an example using this in present perfect in two years? Um, in, Without talking about a re-election or possible re-election or whatever, yeah. just yeah. in two years? Uh, probably in two years, the currently the pres the current president will have finished his period. Exactly. But it's not probably because this is certainly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. His first period, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So very good. In in two years, the current president will have finished his period. That was another good example of using. Uh Let me see. Alex Jacko, are you there? Yes, teacher. Yes. I'm sorry. I'm, Kim, I'm here. Hi. Where do you live? I live in Santa Ana. Remember, remember the government said that they were going to make a street in the in the Los Chorros and a road? Yes, uh, actually, uh, when when travel to the off Santana to to the shore uh, the San Salvador, uh, I I need move to the near um, I don't remember the the city. Uh, okay, to the end the to the end the street and return. <laughs> To go to the, to no, the but center my, of <laughs> But my question is, have they started that road? How? Please repeat. Remember, they're going to make a big project that is a, a road, or a, and they're going to add more road. Mm. No, since for... Okay, listen, listen to my example. I'm okay. I'm not okay. telling you, I'm not asking you which road do you take or or no. Okay. Listen to my example. I remember the government said that they will make oh. a road or a an adaption and an exo. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Next to uh-huh for the chorros. They're going to make it bigger. I don't I don't remember they said bigger. Or a new a new road. Have they started that road yet? Okay. I think or remember uh, they they say open 
four roles to to go and and go and go back. Yes, but listen to my question, please. Listen, <laughs> listen to my question. <laughs> Have they started that road? Uh, it's present yeah. perfect. It's a normal present perfect question. Ya la comenzaron? Mm, not yet. Okay, good. That was my question. Have they started that road? No, they haven't. Um, I, I don't I don't I don't know when. <laughs> okay, good. Yeah. Okay, good. No, that was my question. That was my question. Yeah. So really, guys, you have to really listen to the question, to the situation. Yes, it's very important. Yeah. So they okay, they haven't started. But I okay, good. Oh man, pensé que le habían empezado para preguntarles. Ah, de aquí en cinco, cinco años ya la habrán terminado. They started the integration. Ampli mm. Ampliación, how is it called? Extension. Extension. For this oh, yeah. moment, for this moment, they, they works and in the, um, Continue in path of level, path of level for from Santa By, Ana to San Salvador in it's a the bypass. Claudia Lar. Bypass. Bypass. Yeah. You know, I live, I live very, I live by um, Paso del Jaguar and Mono Hermano Lejano. Yes, I know. Okay. Have you seen the people? working in the street mm. yes oh, they're, they're, hermano lejano, uh, really yeah. i don't understand why i se han pelado man <laughs> i pass there every day and that is so slow it's like every day i pass there i never see what are they doing <laughs> Oh, so yes. I, I have seen the change, yes, but it's been forever and I, I I don't see it's very complicated what they're doing. They're putting like some fence mm -hmm. for, but man, they take forever. <laughs> so like a hot a cut the rock. Cut the wow, rock. that yes, it's like a east. <laughs> Espera del is. <laughs> and yeah, you know, every the I pass there every day in the morning and the afternoon. I never see the change. <laughs> yeah, and I see many people there working and I mean <laughs> so I can't imagine the chorros <laughs> the road. Similar. Oh, I have a question. I went to the beach last week. You know that that ¿cómo se llama la calle esa? The surf city, the, the new yeah. pipe. Why have they blocked? Remember where they sell minutas and everything? Yeah. They 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 have fans. Yes. Why? Do you know why? I I think that this is a, a new project for um I think a, it's a new hotel or another project for for this song. Oh, okay. They're making like a hotel near. I think, I think, but uh -huh. I put the fence uh, along, a long time, along to the almost 200 meters. Yes. And that's, and that's, that's too bad because that yes. they're blocking the, the view. The view. Exactly. Mm -hmm. It's oh, okay. I, I, I thought it was because, you know, they don't want people to stop <laughs> to buy minutas or. The dispensing minutas. They're expensive. How much are the minutas there? Two dollars. Two dollars. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Surf city minutas. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, class. And thank you very much. I will see you tomorrow. Okay, we'll continue tomorrow. Tomorrow. Have hey. a wonderful day. Good night, everybody. Bye bye. Good night. Bye -bye. Good night. Good night.